two, one. Okay, Bob, we're going to use your cheek as the control for this test that we're about to do. Neuropathy doesn't affect the cheeks, so you can show me. Um, so that's why we use that as the control. Okay, so if this is a 10 for coolness, this would be a zero. Okay, and you're going to give me something in between that. If this is a 10, or cold, or cold, yeah, if this is a 10, what would you rate here? 9. Good. 10, what would you rate here? 5. Okay. 4. Okay. 10. 3. Mm-hmm. Okay, vibration is next. This will be a 10. That's a 10 for vibration. What's that? Do it again. 10. Eight. Good. Five. Cold is next, okay? This would be a 10, this would be a 0. 10, 8, 7, 5, okay. 8, 6. Good. We're going to go to pinwheel next. Now you can have 11s or 12s, okay? So this would be a 10. This would be a 0. Let us know if it goes higher, okay? Do the 10. Yeah. Higher. 11, right? 10. Higher. 11. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me check the bottom. Uh, 12. Yeah, a little higher on that. Okay, pin prick is next. This would be a 10. This would be a 0. Okay, 10. 11. 11. 10. Okay. Heat is next. 10. Oh, oh, oh. Ten, five. That's good. Two. Two. Two, right? Okay. So because you're a diabetic. Hmm. That's right. <laughs> I've had it that many times. You had it. You're down, you've got a good endocrinologist, but you know what this is. All right, so Bob, your eyes are going to be closed. When I touch you, you're going to say now. Okay? Ready? Yep. Now. 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 Good. Now. Now. Okay, good. We're going to move over the other leg, or foot, I guess we should say. No. 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 C. 
six. Okay. Well, very good. The good news is you passed my test. Okay? Okay. Your candidate to um, for our care. If you would have scored a zero or one on that light sensitivity touch, you'd be too far gone. The fact that you scored a seven and a six tells me that there's still good integrity in the large branches that come off the spinal cord. Of the whole yeah, coming off the spine. That's good. Now, you do have some sensory damage in those small sensory nerves that are just underneath the surface of the skin that we talked about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up some muscle and strength testing, and then I'm going to put these into a lab software, and we're going to find out how severe or what level your neuropathy is, right? Just like they stage cancer. Is it stage 1, mild, stage 2, moderate, stage 3, severe, or stage four, okay? Um, from there we get a baseline and then we can recommend treatment or um, do follow-up visits. I'm going to recommend treatment for you because I can tell that there's some benefits that you're going to get, okay? The next two things I'm going to do is putting your feet right here. Look how blue these are on the bottom now. Come here, oh, Leniva. Is that bad? Yeah, we'll take a picture of it. It's not, I mean, it's just yeah, cyanosis. Oh, I like it though. It's on the top of his toes yep. even. They were hitting. Yeah, so pull your feet back. Good. And he has a dry fungus on the bottom that we're going to have to put a straight push down as far as. Good. So strength is still really good. Five and four. I used to all get these multi sac blisters on my feet always. And nobody could tell me what it was. Blisters? Oh, it looked like, it looked like a. Big lump, but it was okay. multi sac and so sterilized the needle. Relax. Huh. I'm sure your sleep apnea doesn't help not getting oxygen down exactly. to relax. There's very low reflexes. With his sleep apnea, he stopped breathing for 45 to 50. Before when they tested me, I uh, over a okay. night I hit 300 and 